Hell divers, what is going on? My name is Gun. Today I'm going to be talking about the new war bond that's coming out. Should be coming out around April 14th or April 15th. It is called the uh, Democratic Detonation. I'm going to be showing you guys footage of all the guns. And I'm going to show you guys the, the perks for the armor as well. Also, I'll, I'll let you guys know if it's going to be worth it or not. Okay, to start off, we're going to talk about the BR-14 Educator. I have talked about this in a previous video, but I'm just going to get, show you guys more footage of it. So, so it says it's medium armor penetrating. I hope this thing could act uh, one shot or two shot the um, Devastators and probably even do damage to the, to the Striders. Okay, since it's medium armor penetrating, you should be able to shoot the back of the vents of the tanks, the automaton towers, and like the, the artillery or the Gatling guns that are shooting, uh, you should be able to take those out with no problem. So you, I'm assuming you should be able to uh, take out hulks as well just by shooting them straight in the eye pretty quickly and on their back. Okay, so onto the CB9 exploding crossbow. This thing does 150 damage, has five, uh, five capacity, recoil 35, doesn't matter. And then uh, the fire rate is 50. So obviously the main trait for this is it is explosive on direct impact and it says gravity must be accounted for when aiming just like the grenade launcher i think this thing will definitely excel when it comes to fighting groups of bugs the only thing is i'm not sure how big the blast radius is it looks like it's decent but i don't think it'll clear out a group of bugs maybe it will who knows this could be a work in progress for it however against the uh, automaton fabricators it's gonna be good against uh, any of the vents again it should be decent but overall, it, as a primary, I don't know. It's kind of kind of a weird choice to have as a primary. I feel like this will definitely be more mission based when you drop down. So looks okay. Maybe it might be good against the eggs as well. Onto the eruptor, 230 damage, five capacity, 75 recoil, and 25 fire rate. It does say uh, medium armor penetrating as well. I honestly think this thing will be really good for in and out missions as well. If you're trying to do a lot of submissions such as destroying the propaganda tower of uh, that thing. It, it could snipe it from long range. If you need to destroy fabricators fabricators quick, it'll destroy them from long range as well. So just seeing how, how slow it fires, this thing is gonna be terrible when a lot of enemies are chasing you, especially Terminids. I mean, I feel like this thing will be pretty decent against automatons. I, I have a feeling it should be able to one-shot the Striders, Devastators, but eh, I don't know, it's very niche to me. It's because I'm bad at aiming. Okay, so on to the GP31 grenade pistol. This thing has one round capacity. Uh, it's gonna be a sidearm, which is a plus. That's awesome, I love it. Uh, I have a feeling this thing's uh, blast radius will be a lot bigger than the crossbow, although you'll only have nine shots, so that's the only downside to it. But in certain situations, like plugging uh, the, hive bug, the hive bug holes, and destroying fabricators i know i keep fucking saying it i'm sorry <laughs> but, and then just having it as a sidearm i think is definitely a plus okay on to the last piece of equipment it's going to be the g123 thermite but i think these things could be cooked i hope they can because they look like they could do a lot of damage uh, they could burn the enemies and i have a feeling this thing will take out a, a charger pretty easily especially if it could stick to to them Okay guys, so the armor that's gonna be coming out for it, there's, they all have the same uh, armor passive. So that being fortified, which is already in the game right now. So that's kind of a downside to me personally, which is further reduced recoil when crouching or prone by 30%. And then it says provides 50% resistance to explosive damage. So yeah, that that's gonna be, that'll definitely be a plus for the armor. I feel like it's more cosmetic than anything. The armors do look really nice, so that could be a factor for you wanting to buy it. But at the same time, for me personally, I don't know if I really, I mean, I am gonna buy it for content, right? But for a Helldiver that doesn't give a shit about the content, I honestly feel like these weapons will be lackluster. Like, honestly, they, they I don't feel like they're gonna be pushed the threshold for meta, but I could be wrong. Since these weapons are long ranged and explosive based and they have a really slow rate of fire, I feel like matching this up with a 
Support weapons such as the arc thrower or machine guns will be extremely useful. Uh, use your arc thrower as your primary and then switch your explosive weapons uh, to destroy the propaganda towers, tanks, uh, automaton towers, and to kill enemies from long distance. But if you're a newer hell diver, I would still recommend the cutting edge over this one. It has the armor has a more unique perk to it. It has a uh, really good primaries, and it has the shotgun that pretty much has unlimited ammo. However, when the warbon actually comes out, and you get to see all the additional equipment, emotes, and even the boosters, that'll entail if you should get it or not. But right now, as newer Hell Helldiver, I wouldn't. But as a seasoned Helldiver, I definitely am going to buy this thing. I'm definitely going to do a deep dive on all these weapons on every single enemy. So if you guys want to see how that looks, please stay tuned. But please comment, like, and subscribe, and stay safe out there, Helldivers. Peace out.